Welcome back to wagertalk.com. We're heading to Saturday action. It's the first game of round two of the playoffs, and we've got the Golden State Warriors. We knew they would be there, but not everybody knew that it was going to be New Orleans. The Pelicans are playing some great basketball, guys. They swept the Portland Trailblazers, and they made Portland look bad. I mean, it, that was a bad series for Portland. New Orleans, Anthony Davis, you know, what can you say about him? I'll tell you what. If Boogie Cousins would have went out at the beginning of the season <laughs> instead of midseason, Anthony Davis would be a lock for the MVP. He has played so much better. And then you add Drew Holiday that's come out of nowhere basically in the playoffs. And now they've got one hell of a one-two punch. I'll start with you, Brian. They've sat around for a week. Does the rest versus rust the factor come in here? I don't think it makes a difference whatsoever at this time. I think the rest is good. Uh, you mentioned Davis. Davis has always been a terrific player. It's just being able to stay in the lineup. Uh, and Holiday's come out of nowhere. He's finally healthy, and he's made a, a big difference for them. But, you know, you, you take a look at uh, in the series so far. The, you know, Golden State's won three out of the four, but they won them all early in the season. The last time New Orleans played them, uh, they win the game 126 to 120 in Golden State. And other than that, the first three games were all in the first half of the season where it was a different, you mentioned Boogie Cousins. And for those who think they're a better team without Boogie Cousins is wrong because he's one of the best players in the NBA. It just so happens the matchups and everything, they're playing better ball now. One of the things is pretty interesting here. I went down current streaks going into where we are at right now. The Pelicans, they won nine straight games heading into this game, 24 and eight runs so far. Golden State, 11 and 11 the last 22 games. Now, granted, they're not must-win games until they get to the playoffs, obviously. They set themselves up pretty well. But they didn't really overly sweat the whole Houston thing when Houston got there and passed them up and the better record. Golden State knew once they get here, they're sort of like the Cavaliers did last year, gave up that first, uh, the first spot for Boston, and, and they knew they could beat them in the playoffs. The problem with this series is Curry's probably not coming back to game six or seven. So... You have to worry about that if, if you're a Golden State. If he doesn't come back, uh, will they be able to have the same success? Because they are playing pretty much the hottest team. Other than Houston and, and uh, New Orleans are the t hottest teams in the NBA. But uh, all these games so far this series have all been high scoring. And defense hasn't been there. Golden State's had problems with defense pretty much the second half of the season. Um, I think Golden State wins the series. I think they win it in six, but I think it's a high scoring series. Ralph, you talk about, you know, the difference of this team. And we're not, you know, ragging on Boogie Cousins, but it just was an odd fit to have your two go-to guys both be the big guys inside. Where now with him out of the lineup and Drew Holiday becoming such a force, you have more of a natural, you know, lineup where you've got the inside-outside, you know, presence and man is it working right now in the last game Davis scores 47 and Holiday scores 41 you got an inside outside combo like that that's going to present a lot of problems for you know any team well what causes a problem is having a big man that can score I mean there's not many people like Anthony Davis where you know how to defend him I mean is is Durant going to come down and defend him or is Green going to have to defend a, a much bigger player so you know we know Draymond Green is one of the best defenders in the NBA but you know when he covers LeBron he's great but LeBron's 6'8 he's not Anthony Davis size so you know it'll cause some problems for Golden State on the matchup but who would have thought coming into this year that Golden State would want to slow the ball down relative to their opponent. I mean, the Pelicans are one of the fastest-paced teams. Golden State now with the playoffs without Kerr wants to slow the ball down more. They talked about how their defense has become so much better against San Antonio. Now, my thought is, well, you're playing San Antonio without Kawhi Leonard and you're one of the worst road teams in basketball. How good is really your defense? You know, so, it, you know, that's looking at, OK, well, we held them to 40 percent. We held them to 91 points, but it's San Antonio on the road. I think they had the worst or close to the one of the worst road records there was ATS. So, you know. Pelicans head coach Gentry was on Kerr's staff. He was his main assistant a couple years ago, 2014, 2015. He knows that personnel very well. He's going to be able to find some tweaks in it. You have a point guard playing at an all-star level. I actually like the Pelicans in game one um, to, to run the court and perhaps pull the upset. I certainly like them plus the points. 
They're getting uh, right now. We're looking. We're taping on a Wednesday. Uh, the early numbers have it at seven and a half. Golden State minus seven and a half, and as you said, very high total at two twenty four. Brian, any any place you're leaning here? Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards the over, and um, we we're getting back to the Boogie Cousins situation. Cleveland wanted Boogie Cousins to come come there, but he blocks the middle for where LeBron does his best work, and that's driving the lane. You've got to have the matchups in order for him to perform very well. And as you pointed out, the two big guys in the middle, it, it could have very easily been that Davis left because of injury and Boogie Cousins would have really reaped the benefits of mm -hmm. that. So anybody who's looking at Boogie Cousins in the future, it's just a difficult situation here. He's still a hell of a ball player. Absolutely. And uh, before I give you my side on this one, I want to tell all of our viewers, you've been on a nice run, 21 and 9 with your plays, and you're going to offer uh, all of the uh, viewers a special deal. You're going to offer a seven-day package. You can get seven days of Brian Leonard's plays, all of them, all access. That's normally a $99 package you're offering it this week for $59 you can pick up seven days all you got to do is use coupon code Brian 59 that's Brian 59 I'll spell it out for you because this is a guy that he has to be different and he spells his name B-R-Y-A-N in the number 59. You're, you're he's talking about the A as opposed to the Y. Yeah. I wasn't around to pick my name just yeah. letting you know. <laughs> you know I will tell you though you look at Brian's record 21 and 9 you, you know, the 21-9 is better than most people's 21-9. I know he had Anaheim the other day, plus 180s. You're going to get some nice-sized dogs in there. So the 21-9 does, uh, does, does not do justice yeah. for his record. Yeah, there's so. a lot of guys out there. Once they get that big record, they're not going to give you anything but favorites. Yeah. I'm undefeated in the hockey playoffs. I've had a couple 180s, a couple 140s. Uh, you're going to get the best bet on the board. So uh, regardless of what the line is, we'll take underdogs as well as favorites. Check it out, guys. And if you want to save $10 on a package this week, use Slam Dunk 10, coupon code Slam Dunk 10, and you can save $10 on any package at Wager Talk this week. And guys, if you like our videos, do us a favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and be sure to share it with all your friends. We'll be back with more here at wagertalk.com.